Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian with Games Under Pressure. Today, I'm going to be walking you through just how to back up and restore your PlayStation 4 hard drive. Now, Sony included a really, really cool utility in the uh, PlayStation 4 System Software 2.50 update, and that is the ability to back up everything on your system to an external hard drive. We're talking game installs, we're talking profiles, trophies, saved games, the whole deal. So that if your PlayStation 4 hard drive ever dies, you just plug in your backup, restore store and everything is right as rain because we've all been in that situation where your hard drive dies and you lose everything you want to avoid that so first of all what you're going to do is go up to your trophies and make sure that your trophies are synced if your trophies are not synced then what's going to happen is uh, if you back up and then restore from the backup any trophy that you haven't synced is going to be gone so you want to avoid that especially uh, if you're playing something like bloodborne and you work your ass off for every single one of those trophies you don't want to lose them Next, you're going to need, imagine this, an external hard drive. It can be a USB-powered drive. I'm using a Western Digital uh, USB 3.0 powered drive, and uh, it seems to work perfectly fine. You can also use a powered hard drive, whatever you have laying around, as long as the capacity is uh, higher than what you have on your system. Next, you're going to want to format that hard drive in either FAT32 or XFAT. And that's very easy to do. You, unfortunately, you can't do it from the PlayStation 4 itself. You got to connect it to a computer and format it that way. But uh, if you're on Windows, it's very easy to do. There are a myriad of tutorials online. If you're on Mac OS X like I am, uh, again, very easy to do. You just connect your hard drive, go to Disk Utility, you select it from the left-hand side, and you format it as XFAT. So either FAT32 or XFAT should work. Next, what you're going to do is uh, connect the hard drive to your PlayStation 4 and go over here to Settings. In the Settings menu, you're going to go all the way down to System. In the System, you're going to go all the way down again to Backup and Restore. And then you're going to hit Backup PlayStation 4. Now, it's going to start thinking a little bit. It's going to basically index the drive, see if there's anything else on it, make sure it's formatted correctly. It's also uh, going to give you a list of sort of everything that's on your system and allow you to check which things you want to transfer over. So as you can see, I have about 1.59 terabytes of free space that's going to be available after backing this up. Remember, this is a two terabyte hard drive. And over here, you can go and, hey, you know what? I All those saved uh, installs, I don't really need to back those up because I have the disks. That's fine. Uh, you just deselect that, which is pretty handy. When you uh, uh, decide if you want to keep the applications installed or not, you go over here to Next. You hit Next, and the screen, uh, when you hit back up, the screen is going to go black. Don't be alarmed. Uh, it will start right back up. So when your system starts back up, you're gonna see this screen, and this is gonna give you a pretty good idea of how long this backup process is gonna take. Now, as you saw a few seconds ago, I didn't select for the applications for the game installs to be included in this backup. I did that uh, when I was just playing around with this before I created a video, and for about 400 gigs of uh, data on my PlayStation 4, it was gonna take about eight hours to back up. So I can't really recommend including all those game installs, especially if you have the discs lying around because what's going to happen is it's going to take so long to back up and then it's going to take so long to restore if your hard drive goes you just sort of want to get back into the game and a lot of those game installs you're not going to need anymore so what i'm going to do is speed this up and uh, show you how to restore so now shit my hard drive crashed what do i do you're going to go back to settings you're going to go back to system you're going to go back to backup and restore and then restore ps4 you're going to see uh, if you have your hard drive connected the uh what you whatever you named it there and when you hit restore it's going to do almost the exact same thing uh where it goes through and restores your system so i hope you guys don't have to use that uh, but if you do this is how you do it uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you would, please subscribe. That's going to allow me to keep bringing you videos like this, and as always, thank you guys so much.